I wanted to just show a little thing I learned today that helps with managing prefabs. Uh, the first is built into Unity, which is pretty easy. You've probably seen it before. You can actually select dependencies uh, for a prefab. So this will tell you essentially uh, what this prefab depends on. And so you can see this prefab uses all of these assets, all of these different scripts. So this is useful. Uh, but if you want to know what is using a prefab, so like a scene or another prefab, um, there is no built-in tool in Unity to do this. Instead, what you can do is you can actually go to the meta file for the file in question. So let's, um, this was our prefab that we were interested in. Let's actually go to the explorer and grab the meta file. So I'm going to open the meta file, meta file in notepad and I'm going to grab the GUID. This is essentially how uh, scenes and other prefabs reference other prefabs. So we're going to grab this and there's this really cool command in git. So we'll go to the root folder of cultist astronaut. There's this really cool uh, command in git called grep. So what we can do is we can do git grep. Not sure what that stands for, but it's pretty cool. And we can paste in our, oh, I guess I have to right click. We can paste in our GUID. If we hit enter on this, it will take a couple seconds and it will pull up. Actually, well, that was pretty quick. We'll actually pull up all the files that are using this, this prefab. So if we scroll up, you'll see that uh, we have Harlan scene transitions. We have the prefab in question. That's the meta file where we grabbed it. It looks like a lot of this is being used in the scene transitions. We have development parallax. And it looks like it's just those two scenes. So I wish there was a way to reduce this, but it's pretty useful. Um, so if we take a look, we can go to the, um, the parallax scene. And we can actually see that, um, and this is actually really out of date, but we can see that this is using the level manager uh, right here, actually. This is the prefab. If we do select, it actually takes us to this object, which if we do, just to, just to confirm, this should be the same GUID that we searched. Ends in CC3, starts with 7.5. CC3 starts with 7.5. You can see we were able to find that uh, pretty well. So yeah, two different tools. You can use select dependencies to see what the prefab is composed of, and then you can do the reverse and see where the prefab is used by using git uh, grep right here. Uh, that's all I have for today. Thank you.